Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another stream on the twitch.tv slash Quincy channel. Wow. Hello, hello, hello. <clears throat> welcome, welcome. My name is Q. Um, today, it is the 17th of um, July. And we are going to stream. I have some cool new music, as you can hear. But I'm wondering if it's too loud. I think it's too loud. So let me let me fix that. This is Jubilife City. And it's pretty epic. Thirty percent is pretty good, I think. All right. Yes. So welcome, welcome. It is um, it is Monday evening uh, here um, in the Netherlands. It is uh, six o'clock, uh, five minutes before seven o'clock. And today we're gonna do a little mini stream. We're gonna learn how to do touch designer. It's a program where you can create cool visuals uh, by using certain um, by, by using certain audio or algorithms or things. So that's pretty epic. That's pretty cool. We're gonna do that. Um, I'm right in the middle of the installment, and we're gonna do it. Oh yeah. I hope everyone is having a good and awesome day today. Um, I am, definitely. I've done some cool streaming stuff today to improve the streams. So, yeah, it's uh, it's going pretty well. It's going pretty well. I'm really excited to uh, work on this, um, yeah, on this touch designer thing. I wanted to get into it uh, for a bit now because a friend of mine, Boss, uh, has... Uh, has shown me some of them of his cool work and it inspired me to also work on something like that that would be really cool maybe I can use it for the stream as well it would be really cool I think so yes um, we're gonna do that I'm uh, doing everyone is doing all right uh, let's do a screenshot of the stream as well for for now so I'm gonna do like uh, where are my glasses actually Where are the cute glasses? I don't remember. Maybe my bag? Let me check. No glasses in the bag. I wonder where they are. I feel like last time I used them was in the was in the stream. Hmm. All right. Uh. Oh wait. This is copyrighted song. Oh. All right. Here we go. That's better. Um, so yeah. I don't know where my sunglasses are. I want to find them. They cost me some money. Hmm. Alright. Well, let's get into it. Let's see. If I do this screen. Yeah, this screen. Alright. It's a bit tiny. But I can try to, to make it work. Um, let's see, create, disable, install, enter a key. If you already have a key installed, I don't have a key. Um, what if I just, <laughs> all right, we can't do that. <laughs> touch designer, touch player, I think it's called. All right. Uh, touch designer, it's called, right? Oh yeah, we should get touch designer, not touch player. This one needs to go. All right, so let's see. Not registered reds. Do I need an account? Let's see. 
I think I have to become a member. I tell you to download tools, get software keys, and participate forum. Please fill out our fields. I have all emails required to receive touch sign of keys. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's create an account then. I'll be quickly switching off. Hide game. Hide game. Nice. All right. I'm gonna make a quick account. So don't worry. Um. Ba, 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 da, ba, ba. Okay. Ba, da. So yeah, early stream. I'm planning to stream for an hour and a half. So it's gonna be a quick stream, not so big. Um, send a newsletter. No, create an account. All right. Okay, a user has been created. Thank you. Uh, activate your account by the email address. Okay, so we have to go to my email inbox login. Yeah, all right, there we go. I have to click on this link and activate my account. And I think then we're ready to go. Password, first address, okay. So if I now do this and then password is this, sign in, non-commercial, 10 remaining. Aha. Update until one year from now. Okay. Create a non-commercial key with updates until one year from now. Okay. Create a key. Awesome. Show game. Show game. Yes. Awesome. All right. We're in here. The key was successfully installed and its feature are now enabled. Hooray! So now I can get off this and wow, here we go. All right, so this is a standard project, it seems like. So this is how it looks. Uh, there's a timeline on the bottom that is going infinitely right now. It loops, I can pause it, I can play it, I can even rewind it if I want to. That's cool. I've watched a couple of videos of this. Uh, that got recommended. Um, that's pretty cool. This is the output. So if we play, we can see that there is this output going on. Cool. All right, nice. This is the image. I wonder if we can change the image to something else. Like, for example... Oh, wow, there are a lot of examples that we can touch from, uh, that we can look for. But what if we are going to find our own? I have some images, maybe. Art. Uh, this is some art. But what if we are going to do... Is there a meme? That's a meme. Schedule screenshots. Luna videos. Wallpapers. Ah, wallpapers is a good one. So... Oh, this one. Yes. Uh, blue one. This one. Okay, cool. Oh gosh, what did I do? All right. Warning, resolution limit to max. Okay. Oh yeah, that's fine. So D is making it so that it's on the full screen. So that's pretty cool. But actually we want this to be. Aha, there we go. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Hmm, this is a cool image. This is a 3D version of it with a cube in the middle. That's pretty epic. Uh, all right, nice. Now, what does this do? Noise. Interesting. Ah. Huh. On. What kind of noise is this going to do? RG? RGB legacy. Ah. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. All right. Let me go to the tutorial guy. I'm gonna turn off the music. 
and let's listen to what this guy says. Closes, say. and you're only you're only running. We have four menus here. Um, about the file menu and the dialog, uh, the the preferences, and um, also the help. Help. I'm gonna make other videos about. Okay. So. Um, so there's a help. Yeah, but. Yeah, these are pretty straightforward. Don't and we have free links uh, to the wiki, forum, and tutorials page oh, yeah. of the Derivative CA website. Cool. We have a kind of on and off bu button or cooking on off button. And this just means when we turn this off, er nothing is processed in our project. Ah. So On off um, button. Yeah, quite straightforward as well. Oh, there's uh, a tutorial button as well. Wait, what? Tutorials. Ah, okay. So this is just a tutorial. Okay, cool. Nice. Um, also, we have this FPS here, so this is just telling uh, us and what kind of frame rate uh, our project is currently running. Uh oh, so the noise is here. going. Um, ah, but, okay. Um, yeah, I recommend. I usually just use sixty FPS. This little button here, and we hover over it, like over any kind of um, button here, except for these. Um, we. Uh, we we get like the name of what it is. Well, what it is. Okay. All right. So <clears throat> let's see. We have four mode. Oh wow. That's just a. This. Okay. Um, when I... Interesting. So how do I get out of perform mode? Oh no. I'm stuck in perform mode. Click <laughs> on this, or I can also press F1. So if I do that, the um, project kind of runs. So ah, the project runs. The, the, um, the network completely closed the program. So just uh, press escape to. Okay, press escape. There we go. Good. Very good. All right, so this is the noise. Ah, okay. Okay. So, okay, this is the seed. Interesting. This is the period. So, okay, here we can tweak certain settings. So this is making it go all, <laughs> all crazy. If the seed is zero, then don't know exactly what the seed does. Let's keep it at one. Okay. This is a slow mo. That's cool. Harmonics. What does harmonic do? If I add 10 harmonic. Or one harmonic. I think harmonic is like how smooth it goes, maybe? Oh, harmonic is making it go like normalizing it to the middle-ish because if I do zero then it goes all the way up all the way down roughness if the roughness is super high then it goes like Durr. okay interesting exponents oh wow wow we <laughs> This is really cool. Ooh. Amplitude. And then there's an offset as well. Okay, that's cool. Little charts. That's awesome. Okay. What is this? Open palettes. Oh, th those are the palettes on the left. I see. We have a pane as well. Okay. Let's keep it like this. And we have lots of things here. It seems like. Hmm. Info suggestions. Transform. What if we do 500? Oh. Okay. The noise rotation doesn't really matter. It seems like it's. Speed. Okay, this is probably how fast it goes. Step side. 
don't think that is important. Okay, let's go back to the tutorial. Let's go back. Um, we're going to talk about that later as well. So then if we click on this weird uh, little symbol here, um, the palette opens and the palette is just a list or like a folder system of um, pre-made um, components. So re oh, reusable pre -made components. Like tools and, and stuff like that. So we can ah. you know, just um, to gra drag and drop anything of that in here and also then have a look at uh, how, how that's done. Oh, wow. Um, so you have like a lot of pre-made image filters and stuff like that already in here. And um, <clears throat> also there's this My Components um, section here. So you can add your own components. You can make um, kind of like a folder um, or like a group of uh, operators, and then you can put them here for later use. OK. All right, so then now we have the section here. OK, that's important because I want um, I want to use a song that uh, a friend of mine, Thais, made. Let's see, stream SFX. Oh, did I already download it? Oh, it seems like I already downloaded it. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Um, so if I go to my components, oh, there is no my components. Huh? How did it go to add folder audio? Done. Okay. Okay, and can I then import? Can I import something now then? Let's see. Melodic. Hmm. Okay. What did it say about it? Here you call paint operators and then you get your own component here. And um, <clears throat> also there's this my components um, section here. So you can add your own components you can make. Um, kind of like a folder, oh. um, like a group of uh, operators, and okay. then you can put them here for later use. Mm. All right, so then now we have this section here called pane layout and these weird rectangles here. So what this means, this whole area with the network inside and this net, uh, navigation bar up here, it's called a pane, and we can make several of these or split Different these into panes. So okay. I can, for example, click on this. Um, and okay, I understand that. I'm now going to talk a bit about the navigation system. Navigation um, system. These uh, darker, bigger ones are components. Um, mm -hmm. and you can zoom into them. And when uh -huh. you start a new project, um, so before I do that, you can um, use your left mouse to drag and drop around, and you can use your mouse wheel to go in and out of these containers. So oh. um, there's always at the beginning. So there is something going on in here or something? Oh, wait, no, going on in here? Hmm. I don't know how, that, how it's doing that. Oh, wow. <gasps> oh, project one. Ah, this is the perform. This is project one. And if we zoom into it, <gasps> we go inside it. Oh, wow. That's cool. Okay. Beginning, there's this project one main container at the root. So we're right now we're at the so-called root or uh, at home. So I can't like zoom out any further here. Um, you can also always get here. If I'm here, you can always click on the home to uh, get back here. Um, mm -hmm. We don't need to talk about these for now. Okay. Um, if I like, you can see this is called Project One. If I now dive into here, you can um, now see we're now container. Okay. With the press U, you can go one one layer up, and if I press I, you go into the selected container. Okay, U and I. So if I go U, I go back, and if I go I, I go inside. And if I don't select it, then there's. If I select this, for example, I is nothing. U is back. I is inside. Okay, makes sense. And um. Also, there is uh, this, uh, which looks well, this, this square. If you click on that, um, the current um, layer that you're in okay. uh, is going to be output. It's here. going to be okay. And, um, <clears throat> and the also, like one, one last thing for the navigation, you also have this bookmark, um, uh, little bookmark uh, symbol here, um, so you can bookmark this page. And if I'm like deep inside uh, several layers, I can just you can go it. back. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so. Um, I'm going to dive deeper into the whole operator system, but just very briefly. Um, as I said, you can like drop around with the left mouse, zoom in with the in and out with the mouse wheel. Mm -hmm. You can um, also right click anywhere to get a general um, right click menu and okay. also you can right click any operator. And um, if you have a, an operator selected, you can see up here, there's this uh, menu, this parameter kind of section, and mm -hmm. that changes according to whatever operator you have selected. So um, on this uh, on the section here, you have like the, the type, the name, the name is also here. Uh, so if you have that turned on, only the parameters that you've changed, if I change this, uh, only the changed ones are going to uh, appear here. And ah. then you also have like this uh, help um, and Python help. So if you click on this, you're going to be directed to the wiki of this specific operator. Okay. And same with the Python. Okay. All right. Then we have this timeline section um, down here. I'm not going to talk about uh, about that too much because it gets a bit complicated or confusing in the beginning. It still is to me sometimes. Um, 
it's just generally speaking for every comp or for every layer technically that you have you can technically have a different timeline or a specific timeline um usually when you start it it's always set to like 600 um the start and end just says, says whatever frame like it's okay i understand let's go to uh i don't know what tops are interesting let's go to the next one operator families to understand that what you're working with in test designer is all just data whether it be um image data or like pixel data texture data um audio data data so like channel data or anything like that so it's all really data in the end it's all when it really comes down to it it's all just zeros and, and ones um and really really go to the core so it's really important to, to understand that and test designer makes great use mm. of that so we have um different um so-called op add, add a new operator uh, and to have a look at the different families and their operators that they are that there are <laughs> um they have a few different options um so we can access this menu so this menu uh, in four ways one is by clicking this plus button and the other one is by right clicking anywhere and then saying add operator but I would recommend either using the tab, so the two arrows uh, on your keyboard, or just double double clicking with your left mouse. Where? But on operator. Ah, tab is allowing me to grab it. Okay, so I can add certain things. Data operator, JSON MIDI. Okay. MAT custom SOP SOP. And how do I add an audio? Then oh, audio device. Audio file. Audio file in. Okay. Uh. Okay. Ha! Let's go to my audio file, this one. Okay. Well, it's going all crazy mode. Can I listen to it? Can I listen to it? Oh, okay. Okay. Start. How do I, how can I listen to it? Is the question. Loop one speeds. If I go inside here, no. Play. Okay. Play sequential cue off on. Okay. Fade in. Oh, I, I only have an in, not an out. Ah, okay. So what if I place this here and I connect this to there? How do I how do I connect something? Right click? Shift click. Hmm. Lock, bypass, clone, viewer. Okay. I want to. Dock to. Oh. I don't know what I did. Okay. Oh, I did something. Okay. Okay, so can I enable this and disable? Okay, that's everything. Uh, hmm. Interesting. Okay. Great. <clears throat> all right. So when you open this dialog, so-called OP, so operator create dialog, you can see this um all this, this huge list of operators. Yeah. We have um the tops, and these names are a bit weird in the beginning, like top, top, stop. But it's fine. You're gonna get used to it. Um, these are just abbreviations. So top stands for texture operators. Okay. And um these are the, the violet ones. So um. Texture operators deal with all kinds of 2D imagery, uh, anything that's that's uh, got to do with like pixels. So you can um, input um, video and image files. Uh, you can process that uh, and, and change those files. Uh, you can create uh, 2D shapes like circles, rectangles, and, and those kind of shapes. And um, you can uh, yeah, you can output um, uh, 2D imagery as well. So like kind of okay. export um, videos or images. You can also 
Um, you also have uh, the CHOP family. So CHOP stands for Channel Operators, and Channel Operators deal with all kinds of data and signals. So I mean, as oh, I just okay. said, they're all dealing with data in a way, but these are like dealing with, um, with, with like signals. So um, you have uh, things like, if you're looking for anything that's got to do with audio, it's in CHOP. So CHOP's yeah. are, uh, using audio channels, or like uh, dealing with audio channels. Um, you have uh, things like creating a like a random number with uh, with noise, uh, for example. So this is like a channel and um, using an algorithm to create it. Oh, yeah. Um, you have things noise like is random. That just goes, uh, that's just based on a sine wave. Um, and you, oh. yeah, you can um, input uh, cool. things like MIDI controllers. You can input uh, a Kinect, uh, a Leap Motion, um, and other um, anything like you know, wow. other devices that use uh, channel data um, that kind of output you like positions and numbers and stuff like that. So all of that is um, mostly going to chops and also that's, and I'll talk about that in a second. All right, so uh, these are like the green. This is what's got to do with 3D geometry. So these are for creating things like a sphere in 3D that we can oh. interact with, uh, or like a box that we can also interact with. And um, uh -huh. anything, uh, that, that, that's got to do with 3D geometry. Uh, primitives okay, kind of that's, stuff that's SOP. Working, you know, stops. Um, yeah, so I don't, I don't think I need to say much more here. We also have maths, which stands for materials. So if we have like a box and we want to put like uh, an image on that box or like just a color, or if we want to shape a sphere or something, then we can use maths to do so. We can use ah. materials to put an image, a color, or a shader uh, onto any kind of 3D geometry. The next one is that's um, that's our this is rat family and um, that's are dealing with all kinds of um, plain text. So you have uh, like they're also they're kind of called the data family, but um, they're okay. also plain like, text. Like they're also dealing with data like chops are but in, in a different way. So you you have you can also input things like a CSV file and that's going to be in the data. Okay. So last but not least, we have the comms and they're a bit different than the others because uh, yeah, what, what makes them different mostly is that they can hold uh, other families or also other components. So comms stands for components, and also there are inside components. There are different types of components. So we have components that deal with 3D objects. So if we want to uh, like uh, convert, as I, uh, what I was talking about, if we want to like, kind of convert uh, 3D geometry to 3, uh, 2D geometry, uh, 2D imagery. So if we want to render something, uh, then we, we're going to need uh, components like a camera, like a light, and a geometry. Okay. Okay. Got it. So okay, I want to create something. I want to add a component. Oh, another comment. <laughs> Hello, this is my first pro project. Okay, cool. Uh, add operator, maybe. Ah, yeah, add operator. And I want to add an audio device out. And device should be system. Let's lower it. Okay, now I need... Uh -oh. Not enough source specified. Oh. 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 Add or if missing. Okay. Output front left, right. Okay. Now we just need to connect this to that. Right. So I have to select outputs. Hmm. Select output. Info, view, change, undock, force, cut, copy. Okay, what does this do? Export, display, view active. How does one connect a dock to another? How do we add these lines? Inputs. Oh. Okay. Expand. Common. Hmm. Parameter chop. Okay. Hmm. Okay. It's going to probably explain to me. And some other things there. And we also have uh, so-called panels. So, this, so these are mainly for building interfaces and and yeah. putting showing um, it here projects. connections. Um, so okay. Like you can't connect one. Like as you can see here, these are two different families. You can convert from one to the other. Okay. But you can't connect from like one with the other. So I can't just take uh, this operator, which is the top, and connect it to here. It's just going to close its entrance there. Um, Oh. So this is the top, this is the top, and I can't just uh, connect those because uh, it's a different uh, data format. So what I can do is um, convert them from one to the other. So this doesn't work on every family, um, but for example, if you have a chop, you can easily convert it to a top, as you can see here. So we, here we just have a noise chop, which is yeah. um, creating these uh, pseudo random numbers um, between zero and one, and we're just converting those into um, a grayscale format. So here we have them like represented. Ah. What we have here as a, just a number here, we have it re represented as actual like pixels, pixel data, like grayscale. grayscale. Mm -hmm. All right. So next one we're going to look at um, what's important about. Uh, Operator families is that you can't connect one like as you can see here these are two different families you can convert. okay so 
Ah, okay. If I can I connect it like here. Does this work? Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's listen to the sound of Okay, so if you, this is the song that uh, I could use from Thais. I think if I do this, is it going to work? Oh, wait, let me check. Um, uh, uh, did I forget? Did I forget to, oh, wait, no, I, I didn't forget. It is this button. Yes. All right. This song is made by Dice Capus. Okay. So this is the song. Now, how does this work here? That's the question. Okay. I want to remove this. I think disconnect. Yes. All right. We have music. We have music. Woo. Okay, now this is gonna be cool. I want this noise thing. How do I add this one? I want this to be also in a chop toe uh, tab. Chop toe. What is a chop toe? But it's probably the file name. It is called oh chop. Okay, chop. Chop is in the purple one. Yes, this one. Okay, cool. Now, what we need to do... This is noise... Noise song. Or can we... Yeah, noise song, sure. Envelope path not to noise song reference by parameter project job 2. Okay, apparently we're gonna call it job 2. Okay. Okay. Oh, noise one. Oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. I got it. So I have to rename this to Melodic. Then we are going to do this. We're gonna say, hey, that one. Is that how that works? I don't know if that works. Melodic. Yes. Okay, so now play. Okay, it does it does something. It does something. So if I change this to legacy, now go. Okay, cool. Really cool. Now we put this in here. Oh gosh. And we're gonna Oh, and this one doesn't exist anymore. Okay. Okay, here we go. Look at this, look at this. <laughs> it's tripping, bro. It's tripping. <laughs> Alright, we have to normalize this. This is this is this is this is not good. Uh <laughs> Okay. This is the volume. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Oh, okay, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. So, add operator. We want to have a, um, a SOP and we want a box, probably, uh, or a line. Let's see. Where can we add something like that? Uh, oh, box here. Okay, box. Is this 3D or is this 2D? Um, okay. Um, 
box. Okay. What if I go put it here? Okay. This one can go away. I don't know what this is. I don't know what that is, but it can go away in fear. <laughs> ah, it can't go there. Maybe because this is... Oh. Um. Uh oh. I want to... I want to get rid of this. Oh, I can't do that, apparently. Okay, the box is not... It does not like that it is a box. What if I add... What is this? This is called a... Um, this is a geometry. Geometry. Okay, let's add a geometry. Um, add geometry. Where is geometry? Maybe in here? The G for geometry. Maybe... Ah, here. Geometry. Okay. There we go. Okay, interesting. Okay, we can't add this, apparently. That's okay. Maybe we can... No. Okay. Hmm. Well, it's moving. It's moving. <laughs> All right, let's let's go back and see what the how the guys showed from one to the other, a box. But you can't connect from like one with the other, so I can't. And that's you get two. That's go cool, about the shader. And with it, oh, you can write that's data. Actually, type, type the shader, and one is. Oh, yeah, uh, then you can write code. Um, drop it's like also in, um, uh, on a sphere. A sphere. Oh, that just goes. Uh, that's just based on the sign. Oh yeah. Anything, yeah. Uh, that that's. That which we can actually interact with anything that's got to do with 3D geometry. So these are for creating things like a sphere in 3D, which we can actually interact with. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Can we have a normalizer maybe or something to that shop? Bind, blend, clock, constant, DMX envelope. File in handle hog. Normalize the end for normalize null noise. Oh, maybe it's something in here. Uh, cube points. No, I don't think so. Mm. Switch. What does a switch do? Hmm. Okay. With uh, or like a box that we can. Oh yeah. What if we add the box again? Box. Okay. This is the box. Okay. Ah, that's how you interact with it. Okay. How can how can I connect this to that? Is the question. Or maybe I need to displace first. Displace. That's the D for displace. Okay. Okay. Audio, output, noise, shop two, displace. Okay. Disconnect. Okay. And then put this on there. Why do you not work? How does how does why does that not, not work? Hmm. Geo operator geometry. It's called right. It's geometry. Yeah. Okay. Operator add geometry. Okay. But this also doesn't work. This is an error. What is the error? Not enough sources specified. Oh, yeah. Okay.
Okay. <laughs> okay. Can I add this to there? No. <laughs> okay. I want to like get like a filter or something. Hmm. And the out can also work for this, I guess. <laughs> this is crazy. This is really cool, though. Okay, why can this work? What is the reason why this works? This plays to Geo. Oh, wow. Oh, wait. <gasps> oh, we have an... Okay. Oh, I, this is... Oh, this is... This is going in deep. Oh. So, it is actually connected to an in. Ah. Okay. Okay. Interesting. So we need an in here as well. In. That one is connected to it. Oh, okay. Yes. Awesome. Okay. Okay. We're getting there. Pong. And that goes out. Aha, uh -huh. okay. We need an out here as well. Out. And then it goes in here, goes there. And then, okay. okay. Oh no. Ah. Disconnect. But then connect this and then. Okay. Nice. <laughs> okay, how do I make this work? I don't know. Um, how can we connect this to that? Just like they are doing here. What kind of joint is this? This is a parameter. Param with color map. And here I can add a parameter. Huh. Add label in common. Um, hmm. I don't really know. Texture and box. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Let's go back to the YouTube tutorial. And um, anything uh, that that's, that's got to do with three D geometry, uh, primitives, and all that, and it's just um, creating these uh, pseudo random numbers um, between zero and one, and we're just converting those into um, a grayscale format. So here we have them like represented. What we have here as a, just a number here, we have it re represented as actual like pixels, pixel data, like grayscale, uh -huh. grayscale data. All right. So next one, we're going to look at operators more closely. Um, that's okay. it for the operator. Let's go to the operators tutorial. So, um, what you have here with like uh, with every operator, um, instead you have this.
have this parameter page up here. Yes. Uh, which you can toggle and turn on off by with uh, P. And um, you always have like the corresponding uh, values on here. So if I change something on here, you can instantly see the image um, changing as well, or whatever content you have, depending on the type of element. Ha! Ah. So okay, okay, okay. Let me get another noise. I'm curious about getting another noise. Um, let's see. Noise. Noise is in the here. Okay. Okay. Well, um, you can, what you can also do. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I can change the seed. Periods. Harmonic. Oh, that's like how detail it is, kind of. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, that's super epic. Oh, wow. Okay. That's so cool. Can I get this in here? Okay. Ha! 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 How do you... How do you... Uh... Oh yeah, yeah, that's how you do an output. I, for, I, I remember. So... If I do this and I say outputs, um, wait, wait, here, no, chop two, but I want, huh, use inputs. Quarter half. Use inputs. No. I use inputs. Hmm. Okay. Outputs. No. Noise. Type. Simplex. Random. 4D. 3D. Okay. I want this to. <laughs> no, I can't do that. It needs to. It needs to have this. Like, um. Hmm. How do I. Okay, well, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna explain it Probably gonna so, explain um, it. You also always have these uh, buttons here and these buttons down here. Um. So what you can do is you can um check like this is called the viewer so like the, the part down here so this is in this case it's an image I'm gonna drop different noises of different families so we can have different examples. Um. And we're gonna need uh something that's, that it's based on. We don't need to do this right now. It's okay. Um, so we now have this uh, noise that's... Oh. Fast. <laughs> um, and we now have uh, always have like this viewer, as you can see, and we always have these uh, colored buttons that um, also, as you can see, they, they're changing oh. um, depending on what temp type of family we have. So we now have a stop, a top, and a chop here. And um, we always have these. So um, what they mean is, so as, as I just said, this is the viewer, and here you can turn that off. So you can, um, uh, when you turn off the viewer, uh, you can you can see uh, it, it uh, changes from the image or the, the visualization of the contents of the operator to a free numbered uh, abbreviation of the type of operator that it is. <laughs> so this is this is a grid. I can change the name. It's always going to say TRD, and this is a noise, so it's always going to say N N O Y N O Y. So okay. um, I can turn this on and off. And for stops, this actually makes quite a lot of sense, because um, otherwise it needs to uh, render all of these. Because uh, we well, you can you can see them here, so they need to be rendered. So um, ah. this, actually. Um, this I've uh, never really using, and um, this is not important for beginners. Before I explain this, uh, there's also this um, this lock here. Um, if you click on that, the the current um, frame is going to be locked. So um, if I connect something else here, then that is also taking this locked image but if ah. this was still moving okay makes um, sense this wouldn't be affected because generally and this is quite important actually uh the flow of data is always going from left to right so left each of the operators has an operator input okay. left, or not all of them have inputs most of them have inputs and all of them have outputs um, and then you can you can connect them um, okay to each other makes sense all right edge here for example we yeah connect connecting them, operators that's um, what i need to know make this uh, bigger um and uh <laughs> so um if, when i just drop that i can now left click on here and just drag this over there and okay. connect it as you can see um there's also an easier way. You can just right click on this uh, output here and uh, drop in an edge, then, or any kind of operator. Ah. Uh, um, yeah, so cool. <laughs> uh, wait, what we, can, we might want to add another operator inside of here. So um, there's uh, you do that by right clicking. So if I hover over this connection, you can see it gets yellow. So, um, yeah. And I can right click on this. And there's two options here to uh, add or insert an operator. So if I click on add, um, ah. I just add a blur here, for example. I added this to, to here, but it didn't like connect to there. So ah. um, to do this, let's actually click on insert operator. Okay. And, um, one so we inserted it in between of those 
click here okay. and use a transform uh, on this input. But uh, we have two little. Also, um, things like a composite top, where you get this kind of input. Uh, we can just drag in several ones, and they're going to be composited together. So I can oh, composite. Sort of ah. like, uh, I don't know, subtract. subtract thing. Uh, oh, that's yeah. cool. So we're going to get to that as well. I just wanted to show you can input as many like background image one says noise coordinate map and um so you have the same with output sometimes and here you can see you have two different inputs and one says like background image one says noise coordinate map and oh um, so you always kind of see what you're what you what kind of input you need to uh, oh that's amazing actually. that works so well right, so imagine the bypass flag here uh, they're all called huh. i think uh, as you can see i'm a total pro um if, if i uh, wanted to uh, see how this looks without um well, actually let's delete this and make this again you can do the same if i just see it's more or less the same image at the end and now if i unbuy um, I can also bypass this and it bypasses both of them. And then we can just see in this case. Oh, it's, it's bypassing. That's and the error. This. Okay, makes and sense. Um, I've unbypassed this as well. Then, um, okay. then I can see it's taking into account all of the operators in, in the line. Um, so how do we disconnect? We can just drag this away. Um, yeah, so we can do that. Or we can just mm. right click on here and say disconnect. Um, mm. Whoops. <laughs> uh, back to being 15. So, um, yeah, so you can just drag there to disconnect, to connect, drag this away to just your active button down here. So this is not very important on here. So you, you can go around, but it doesn't make a lot of sense. So if you just went there, you can press Okay, that's the few hours. Second. I mean, I understand. You can just turn on the points there. But you can like, oh. Oh, that's in there. Oh, um, interesting. Script, right? Something like that. Um, something like that. <laughs> ah, sorry. Um, so we we can also um, go to the edit up here. So in any depth, you can um, uh, type something in here, but you can also edit whatever is typed in there. So if it, okay. Also, we have uh, things like buttons. Or sliders, I'll show for button. We can like if I, I can't press this. Oh, button! Right, I'm actually we're, we're zooming in there. So it's a comp, but uh, I can make this here active, and I can use this button. So I can use whatever I, I um kind of <laughs> need in here. So you can see. This oh, that's amazing! A couple of chops and that, and this comp. Um, by you clicking this on this, we can now use whatever we, we made available in there. Okay, buttons, nice. All right. So, but this is one of the most important pages when you are like a yeah, very important page. Um, part of an operator. Uh, they're changing corresponding to the, the different um operators that we're on. So. Yeah. Um, parameters you can really change this to anything else like minor. Uh -huh. so there's a few other things here so um there's the type here and then there's a name so you can either name an operator here so name here or you can like as you can see change there so i can also change it if i just type it there okay and then we have um, all of these things um these are not very important actually for now what's important is this maybe because um if you click on that you now see only the parameters that are at the yeah, default state. that's useful so if i just uh, right click on you say reset all parameters and click on this now it's empty because we didn't change anything yeah like uh 800 by 600 for whatever reason <laughs> and um okay. we have some other stuff that we're gonna get to later uh things like time slicing i'm gonna explain when we get to chops and all, all those things um and you can also select several operators and then change the resolution for all of them mm. um, and maybe not on here it's probably best to just do this on here so i get this is a python expression often used so i can just say apps time dot seconds it just gives me a time of the software that's constantly running in the background um so i can just say apps time dot seconds it just gives me a time of the software that's constantly running in the background um oh. and it uses that for just like um going through the noise space you don't have to understand that ah, just so you, okay. know you can like write python expressions in here I understand. And you can see this is being animated all the way through there you can look at that in the background amazing um all right and we also have like an export i'm going to get to that i never really use that either I basically just use this and we also have this last one called binding saving our folders to save files how to uh, create uh, project folders and uh, how to uh, structure them so um um to save a file you um either go to the um and you can also open uh exporting app exporting called my, my folder so the right thing about the designer is that it creates versions it might be a bit confusing in the beginning or weird um but it's actually really great because um i can now save this uh, change something here um uh, I don't know, <laughs> retaining this cube, um, and uh, save this using it here. If I go to my and also the current number, and if you go mm. to the backup, you see the previous versions. So now mm -hmm. if I go back to touch and the backup, there's all the other versions. So now um, if, I, if I did something uh, currently here and saved it, then I want to go back to an older version because, I don't know, I messed up, um, for example. I can just go to your backup. Okay, that's just then, different mm -hmm. versions. I so now to the create project folder um, option here. So if you click um, in my new project, uh, my, my folder, so in my project folder, um, or the, the, the uh, direction that I specified, the folder is automatically created. Um, so generally, what I, what I recommend is not just using these. I also don't um, usually call this image, but I do uh, usually make a media folder uh -huh. so where I put all kinds of uh, images inside or like video files and media okay. project. And usually I also have this audio folder where my um, yeah, audio files are in. Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay. Uh, next up is seven. Is it seven? Getting help touch the center beginner course. Okay. Yeah. So we have like this help menu up here. Uh, links. Back to that in a second. Then we have these free links here. And if you click on the wiki, snippets, add-ons, other help. So okay. What is TOP? Uh, the movie file in. So oops. All right. So with movie file in, it might be confusing. Uh, movie file in isn't just for movies, so it's also for images or any kind of um, um, texture file. Um, you can also just <laughs> there's a banana. Um, <laughs> yeah. So now we've uh, there's a sample file here. Is this banana? Um, so when you drop in a movie file, in, you always see this banana first. Um, you can change that by clicking on this plus here, or by uh, you know typing uh, a name. If you go in here, you can type or pass the the um, File, click on the plus, that's no, this one, so that's cool. You have um, operations, movie file, or video file, so you can instantly see um, high resolution here, about uh, later. Oh. Uh, you can go in and just add another movie, shape, since you have before, if, uh, any 
like a minimum height there. But um, yeah, you can see there's this black uh, border around it. And ah. if you click on the on the um, outer edge uh, anywhere, then uh, you can resize the, the, the operator automatically. Okay. Because we're already added, um, you can also remove there. Size, uh, I can rotate using the clicking with your left mouse, or you can go at this one using that. Okay. Um, and RGB very high now. We can just type a higher number in here and uh, the offset is out like that. All right. Um, now you can see, uh, yeah, you only get a fraction of the circle there. It can actually also be done with the alpha in there, uh, with the fill color in there. So you can play by 20 and all good. Um, <laughs> they made it like, back, uh, man. If I now want to change uh, the resolution here to, let's say, full HD, um, then this isn't changed. So what I can do is just right click on this resolution here, say copy parameter, and just copies both of them. You can also just click on one and copy uh -huh, them. And then paste here on, it on the attributes. And again, right click there and say past reference. Oh, past reference. Um, we, okay. we have this Python expression here. We don't need to understand that. Uh, like radians here. We're going to get to that. Uh, Later, whatever's being shown here uh, is going to be in your perform mode at the end. Right now, there's nothing. It's okay. I mean, it's back, not nothing. And um, it's back working with HSV, uh, HSV, uh, German, German. Mm -hmm. um, so we have like uh, two Ramp sizes. shows uh, when we can change like a gradient color of and colors, situation and uh, value. And as you can see, this is changing with it. If you change this, for example, this could oh, be. Oh wow! Um, you could use a channel of a beat and then, but uh, I would generally recommend audio file. Just, just so we're going to look at a beat and then map that on here on this parameter. So now you can like this parameter, for example, could be um, reacting to ah. an audio file. Okay. So we're going to look at that later. But it's, uh, That's yeah. cool. Just so you know. Um, all right. Let's now look at um, transforming. So in the circle and re rectangle, um, you uh, you have like a bit of transforming here already. But I would generally like transforming just means you know you can scale the the, uh, the graphic or you can position it, rotate it. So you have you have that here. So you can change the center here. But uh, I would generally recommend. Wait, I want to go back a bit. How did you make it so um, it's connected? If I, like, uh, if I now want to change uh, the resolution here to let's say full HD, uh, one copy them here. We don't need to on, on the common page of the rectangle. And again, right click there and say past reference. And now um, we we have this Python expression here. We don't need to oh. understand that now. The rectangle. And again, right click there and say voice. Like if I change this again, like, to, um, we we have this Python. And now I can go here on, on the common page of the rectangle. And again, right click there and say past reference. And now um, we we have this Python expression here. We don't need to understand that now. But um, now we just always like if I change this. Hmm. Past reference. Oh wait, that's the wrong one. <laughs> okay. So if we do. Here, copy, past base reference. Mm. Copy parameter. No, I don't understand quite Again, well. For base twenty, this is the same size, so it's very useful for learners. Um, so that's two basic. Um, and um, I'm gonna drop the ramp in here, and because I still have that in my uh, memory, I can just right click here and say past reference again. And um, I'm not gonna use. So yeah, and because I still have that in my uh, memory, I can just right click here and say past reference again. Okay, past the resolution. But if I don't have the resolution, what then? Copy parameter. Based reference. Okay. <laughs> I don't think that this. Oh, oh, okay. Based reference. No, that doesn't work. Paste values. No. Oh, I'm getting somewhere. Um, based expression. No. Hmm. Huh? Okay. Crazy. Okay. Oh, didn't want to delete that. What I want to do is I want the audio waves to interact with the wave here. Maybe it will explain um, later. With an height. Um, if you go on the look page of uh, this R&B, oh, it's a little more perfect. We have like, uh, I can change, translate it a bit over there. Now we have a page. But, uh, ah, here, transform. And, um, yeah, it's, it's just a bit cleaner, I'd say. So now I can like rotate that here. I can translate it a bit over there. Uh, I can scale it. So uh, if I want to change thing down a bit. Okay. Um, yeah, <laughs> so I think you can just set this to one over there. Um, all right. So um, let's now look. For example, if I just want to add these together, I could just so every pixel of every uh, of all the of both of the images ah. files are just going to be added together. So if this okay, so it's merging it together. So in range between zero and one, then let's say a pixel in this um in this operator is uh, 0.3, so like a dark gray, and this is like a point uh, 0.6. Then together they're going to be 0.9. So if you add them together, they're going to be almost white. So, yeah, mm. almost, it's kind of like manually. Okay. So that makes it you can like as you can see here, um, it's really like this one slot there, and here it's like this uh, area field where you can just input as many um, operators as, as you want. Mm -hmm. So I have uh, now set this to multiply. 
as well, you know, just as before. And if I drop that in there, um, you can see it's the same thing. But the, the great thing about that as well now here is that I can change this to like difference or something. That, and these are just different sort of um, <laughs> algorithms, you could say, or cool. algorithms to change or like to mix uh, image files together. So you can also change this to all the others here. Um, just play around with these. Difference is one of my favorites. And yeah, it's a lot, a lot it's of fun. Really cool. With. So let's say I um, just want to uh, put these over there and not mix them, but just uh, lay this on top of that. Yes. And now I can just uh, use an over, um, an over top. And, over um, top. Now, now something comes into play. Okay. Over top. Um, over. Is it called over? Yeah, it's called over. Okay. Play. If I, if I um, just drop this down here, you can see seemingly nothing happens. The thing is that this image, it's just being on top, uh, being put on top of this image. So we can't ah, see this image. Um, so how do you change so that? Here, um, the input order is very important. So you, okay, you... the input order is important. I see. So now we have to put this over here. And okay. If you hover over it, you can see it says source one and source two. Um, now what you can do is just long click on this and drag it uh, to the other one, and then they're just going to be switched. So now, okay. And I want to this get one a is, uh, an input one, or, yeah, input zero and input one. This is an input one. So you can also it also says rectangle one. It's got circle. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh, keep forgetting. I want to just disconnect this. What is it saying here? What add are not enough sources specified? Not enough sources specified. Hmm. Okay. Out. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why this is a thing. <laughs> oh, not this one. Uh, oh, oh, can I, can I, uh, oh, this is, okay. This is just the text, the comments, add operator text, text. Okay, so I can read text this nice of or oh song made by Thais. Okay. And if I put this over here, this over there. <laughs> oh gosh, but this is funny. This is funny. Font, font file, bolt. Output, common, ah. Twelve eighty seven eight twelve eighty seven twenty. Twelve eighty seven twenty. Okay. Song made by Ka Oopsie. <laughs> Oh. Huh. <laughs> okay. Word wrapping, smart punctuation, chop. Ah. 
Ah, here we go. Value. What does value do? Okay. Zeros. Append value. Hmm. Font. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> and then font size. Oh, here you can change font size. Song made by. Oh gosh. Nice. Woo. Okay. Okay, so that is going over it. Okay, but we can remove this. This is not. Can we change the out? Oh, we can change the position. Okay. Uh, what if we do 500 here? Oh, that's too much. 50? Uh, 100? Okay. Minus 300. Yes. Okay, that's perfect. Okay. Now we want to make a what is it called? A circle or a rectangle. Or a what was it? A ramp. A ramp. Ramp. Okay, this is a ramp. Can we put this in the ramp? Yes, we can. Okay. Can we put the ramp in the... <gasps> we can put it in the distortion. Can we put the distortion inside this? Okay, we can, but that doesn't do anything for us. Um, Can we put this in there? No. Can we... Hmm... Oh. How do we... Hmm. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Cube. This is my first project. Okay. Audio. Display over. This is the output. I want the noise to be moving. How did we do that? How did we do that? Exactly? So um, now we can put this one layer up and this also one layer up. And maybe I want to have the top set again. And ah. now this is on top of this and on top of this. And you can see that here as well. And here you can't drag them uh, around. That's what you have this for. All right. So now we have this amazing uh, composition. And I can just add in. Composition. Let's add a composition. Composition. Maybe comp. Comp. Yes. Okay. Okay, this is text. Maybe this should be in here and this should be 
going in there and then this should go in there uh oh this is this is an issue what's the issue uh oh Oh, what's the error? Oh, it wants an out, apparently. Hmm. Okay, that works. Uh disconnect oh okay this should go in there this no it's not why is it the problem that what if, if i disconnect this why is it making an issue what does it say not enough sources specified not enough sources specified sources because it wants two and over needs two hmm okay i guess that makes sense okay and what's the issue here oh there needs to be more sources as well okay well it seems like it, it's working fine Hmm. Okay. Um, that's text. This is noise. Can we add noise to here? Yes, we can. Holy moly. Haha. <laughs> okay. So now here i have a whole video on you can now go to font and on it's like now and i need to the left or you know all these all these things i guess you know them. you can change the color oh that's uh, really so cool the circle um so now i can you know, add a transform okay i want more audio audio uh, cool. if we add x y and z uh, different uh yeah different oh yeah it just generates changes so it's kind of uh, making it and now this okay the program like so, since the program started uh now teach me Chat was cleared by a moderator prevented by better TTV. Oh. Hello, Nathan C. What happened? Oh. Huh. Everything okay? Everything all right? Is this some Autobot? It was a pop-up. Oh, gosh. Oh, thank you. Thank you for... Thank you for saving the stream <laughs> how are you i hope you're doing all right fun that you're here oh that's been a while how are you <laughs> hello back to you great awesome that you're doing all right i'm doing pretty good um we are working on learning how to do touch designer and uh it's going pretty all right learning a bit so i can show you i have this song that was made by a friend of mine and i'm playing around so touch designer is like a program where you can visualize certain effects uh by using noise or sound or algorithms parameters really cool so i've been just working things out and stuff um let's pause this and i can i can show you so if we go back so this is the song and the song has like all kind of waves i have to normalize it because it's going all over the place right but then i place it i I combine it with this image of um, polar bears that was made by uh, Nadine and I put it into a gradient and a noise and stuff and if I for example get to this noise and I am going to uh, what was it translate I think translate yeah translate 
and I'm gonna do apps time. Let's see, apps time. Oh, apps time. Okay, but it needs a little bit more. Dot seconds. Oh yeah, dot seconds. All right. Woo! That's awesome. That's awesome. Look at that. Look at that. All right, let's get some epic music in here. Um, oh, yeah. Ba, 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 da, ba, da, ba, ba. All right. So, hell yeah, indeed. Hell yeah. Whoa. Uh, so, yeah, learning touch designer. First time I'm using it. A friend of mine um, has been using it. And um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty epic. What have you been doing up? Uh, what, what are you up to? recently i've been playing a lot of legend of Zelda tears of the kingdom i've been streaming as well this whole week like been streaming five days in this week so it's going pretty good getting back to the streaming this uh, summer so that's awesome that's great um yeah doing lots of board games as well like in the evenings here in rotterdam working mostly nice playing world of warcraft great doing raids and stuff and awesome stuff yeah board games oh yeah lots of board games lots of board games i i cleaned all my board games but there was a whole stack of board games over here and i had to i had to put them in like uh in like a uh, in like a cabinet and stuff so yeah but uh, yeah, I've been collecting quite a lot of board games. I have one actually here now. I I, I forgot one. <laughs> All right, this is called Mind Management. Have you heard of this game? It's really cool. It's like a a psychic espionage game. Really cool. So what are you working on? Don't know that. No, it's it's uh, okay. Uh, it's not very uh, known. And it's uh, and you have to like it and stuff because it's yeah it's it's not that difficult but it's just the artwork might confuse people and scare people off but it it's, it looks really cool really cool it's a it's a game where it's like one versus four uh, maximum because it can also be a one versus one but that's like a one to many um, game and one person is trying to let's see what kind of music can we have oh we can have so oh this is a bit too loud i think okay i think this is fine good uh work on the stream all right so it's a game one too many one person is trying to hide on this map so there's this map and they're trying to hide on it and the other people have to find them before it is too late the recruiter is trying to recruit as many features as possible uh, and then get away. But the um, the oh, it doesn't say the name. The agents, the agents. What kind of agents are they called? It doesn't say. Oh yeah, the rogue agents are trying to catch him in time. So yeah, you have to ask like. Oh, have you been on a spot with a palm tree? Or have you been on a spot with a book? And if they have, then they have to show one of the books that he has been to. And if you go to that spot, you can also ask, Oh, but what time were you here and stuff? It's a, it's a pretty interesting game. Pretty cool. A uh, little bit of a brain breaker. Like you have to think a bit, but uh, it's really cool. Yeah, it's like uh, hidden in plain sight right like those games where you have to act like an npc in a way and then like run around in this case there are no npcs but you just have to hide a kind of it's uh, it's really cool really cool so yeah nice uh you got a job at my internship alongside the rest of the studies great that's good i finished my studies last uh last last month ish yeah Finished it, got my diploma, ready to work soon. But that's cool. Uh, actually, I want to learn more. I want to learn more. I want to study forever. <laughs> so, yeah, let's get some random music in here now. 
Um, I could work at the work that I did my internship at. Um, but for now, I want to relax a bit this uh, month and I'm going to look around as well. Uh, I wish to look for like a place where I can work on game development or game design. That would be really cool if that's possible. Uh, so I'm going to look for that and then we'll see. Um, so yeah, that's that. That is that. What kind of work do you do? Like... Uh, same like me, like like a bit of programming or designing or, or something way different. Um, I'm curious about that. And my next question is, um, yeah, have you also seen or played um, uh, The Legend of Zelda Tears of Kingdom? Uh, because that is like really cool game and I've been streaming it last week it's really cool um so yeah a little bit of programming but that's powershell uh-huh work in cyber security at the moment that's cool that's really cool oh so are you like cyber security for the good guys or the bad guys the good company or the bad company i know that there's like the whole white hat black hat stuff right the good guys yeah whoa <laughs> that's great are you enjoying your work is it what you like oh gosh deep questions already <laughs> i also have to go in a moment by the way i had only a short stream in mind because uh, i have some plans but actually i think in like an hour and a half or so i think i'll come back and stream more because I'm really liking this touch designer. It's going pretty well. Um, let's check the thing out again. Um, so go to start, uh, turn on and play. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, we did 24 7 surveillance. Ah, yeah, yeah, it's ups and downs. Okay, okay, but generally, I do really enjoy it. Nice, okay, that's good. I understand that. I also, at my internship, I also had ups and downs, and I don't know, it's like the whole work environment is very different from the study environment, and I have some issues. Hey, hello, and welcome, Thais. Uh, welcome to the stream here. We are producing this amazing, cool touch designer uh, visual effect made by uh, your music, um, as you can see here, a song made by uh, Kapusi. If I press this button, bam, Quincy Bot, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, that's fair. I have to head off soon too. Okay, cool, cool. Well, thank you for checking out, Nathan. Um, um, Nathan C. And yeah, hope to see you maybe later or something. Would be good. Would be good if I could check it out. Check you out again. It's been nice talking to you. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go as well. But let me show Thais what I've made in Touch Designer. So to, to, to show off... What I've done, uh, Touch Design is this program with like nodes and stuff. Um, it's it's a program where you can do visual. We can show visuals by um, like algorithms and programming and noises and audio and like all kind of inputs and outputs. There are so many like components and parameters that you can choose from and you can switch out stuff and what i've done is i have added the melodic um, sound here this is the output so that we can hear it but it also goes into this um let's see what does it yeah it goes into this chop to two um and then that's going to make it like all this wavy and stuff so it just copies the waves here. And I want to make it more normalized and stuff, but I haven't figured out that yet. And uh, I added the polar bear image here as well. And it goes into this 
uh, ramp that is like a gradient from black to transparent. Then there's this noise that I added the time seconds interval thing, so it moves slowly. Oh. I added the text on it as well, combined it with the effects. I don't know exactly what this does, but if we zoom in, yeah, I don't know what it does. For now, it just does in and out, so it doesn't do much. And yeah, the final product is in this out, so it, it's really cool. It's really awesome. The 3D bean. Yeah. Let's see. Can we can we see how the bean looks? It's a donut, actually. Look at that. I want to like put the donut. I want to attach it to the donut, but I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to do that yet. I don't know how to do that yet. <laughs> Add operator. Maybe like a over. Could that be it? No, it doesn't allow me to. No, I don't know yet. The bagel. Yeah. But anyway, I'm really happy. So yeah, I, I just really want to make these cool visuals that respond to the music. And yeah, you can make like cool music clips of this and stuff. I just surface, like I only got the surface of this program, but there's so much more to learn about it. But um, yeah, it's really cool. Really awesome. Really awesome stuff. So I wish to uh, continue uh, later. Oh, I can change color as well here. Huh, cool. There's so much to learn here. Uh, but yeah, I'll be heading off. I have something planned right now for an hour. So after that, I hope to be back. And yeah. All right. See you all very soon, hopefully. And if not, then the next time. Thank you for being here. Thank you very much. Let's uh, change it to this scene. Add some music from Sonic R. Oh, I, I added all these songs on the stream deck. So now I can just touch which one I want. It's really cool. I got songs. Yeah, cool. All right. See y'all. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. Thank you. See y'all. Had a lot of fun. Uh, have a good one. Good night. Bye-bye.